Hello y'all. Welcome to part 17 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 16, our nation transformed into the Sultanate of Mankind. And in the process of doing so, we declared war on every other country in the world. And right now, so far, we have taken out Switzerland, England, and the French national state. And with that said, our offensives will continue in Europe, Africa, and South America. That's all the places we're in right now. So let's actually set up some different orders real quick before we unpause. Let's move Army, Army Group 1. We'll have a more, how to say, more spread out order here since we took Switzerland and have them just push more into, I say, the Netherlands, Bohemia, and Austria, and Germany, of course. And it'll push there now. That's a readjusted front line. We have some enemy divisions trapped in, well, near Cherbourg and Caen. Let's try to destroy those divisions. That will be done, hopefully. And what else do we need to do? Let's move the 11th Army. It's two divisions. Just send them maybe to London. We'll do that. Yeah, it'll go up there. Let's have the army we have in Colombia, well, Colombia and Venezuela reposition themselves. Put seven divisions here, and put like maybe, I don't know, a few divisions. Take three of these divisions, and just put them on the border here to watch out for any attacks from the, who is that, the, the Canadians pushing in from, I guess, their Guana and all those places there. Guana, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that area, just watch there. Also move some divisions here from this army to guard. What else? Do we got to worry about this at all? Okay, I don't think so. No, we should be fine besides all that. So our divisions will be shuffled around a little bit in Colombia and Venezuela, and we're going to take some province there also. And another thing we have to readjust is our front line in Africa, because it's very confusing right now. So let's take these armies here, get rid of these orders, get rid of all these orders, and just readjust things real quick. So let's take the, what is this? This is the 5th Army of Morocco. Have them set up here, and their goal is to just push into the Ottoman parts of Africa. That is Libya, Egypt. Egypt is a puppet of the Ottoman Empire. They lost the desert war, the war in the desert. And so Egypt and Iran lost that war, so they're puppets of the Ottoman Empire, who's a member of the Sarajevo Accords faction with the Austrian Empire. Now let's take the 8th Army here, and their goal is to just push into West Africa and Central Africa eventually. So they're going to fight mainly the Deutsch Middle Africa, which is the German the German colonial authority in the continent, and they're going to advance down there. And I think we're good on orders right now, I believe. I think so. Okay, let's just look at all these naval battles here. A lot of sunk ships, plenty of those. There's a ton of naval bombers we have in the English Channel, so that explains why so much Shipping and vessels belonging to the navies of the world are getting sunk constantly, and let's unpause now. And so the action will continue. I, never mind, that's a peace treaty deal. And so we're going to officially take all the land, so much land from the, from the French national state. It had surrendered, but they were not annexed entirely. And so that's going to change now. We'll take Algiers, Iran, Constantine, got a Paul, well, intern. The Germans are fighting the Entente right now. The Reich's Pact is fighting the Entente. Those two factions are at war. So Deutsch Middle Africa will take some territory probably. But what can you do? So take more territory. Take all of this. Just keep taking stuff. And we have cores on every state in the world. So it doesn't really matter what we do. Just take this. Take this. Take everything we can get in West Africa now. We'll go back for maybe Corsica possibly. I didn't realize the French national... Well, they do control that. So let's in turn. Take that. Take Senegal. This is Gambia. Guinea. Well, not Guinea. We can't take Guinea just yet. We can't take Senegal either. Oh my goodness. Just let me in turn. I'll in turn. My goodness. Pass. Just pass constantly. There we go. Take Senegal. Can I not do that still? My goodness. In turn. German Middle Africa wants everything, don't they? In turn again. And someone else took territory there. It's not going to matter. We're still going to be occupying tons of the land in West Africa. Let's take Corsica at the very least. So pass, take Corsica, 
And that's going to be it, probably. Is that it? No, never mind. What am I saying? Take Sierra Leone. Pass. Pass again. Or not. Well, Deutsche Middle Africa got that. And the French national state was carved up. Let's continue our advance here. We gotta redo the national. Oh, come on. I gotta redo orders again. Yes, I do, it seems. Eighth Army. They were trying to go. Where are they trying to go to? Sahara. Okay, let's fix that. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. Just have them push into West Africa more now. Get that done. Just advance there. I take all this land the Germans took as well when they got on the peace treaty anyway. Like the car. All these places are just sort of. They're leaving behind, really. They don't really have any units here. So continue our offensive. Take more territory. Advance, please. Yeah, just go back on the attack and try to take out Deutsch Middle Africa, who is facing a naval. They're fighting the Dominion of Canada, it looks like. In the Grain Coast, down there, in West Africa, we, we just research interwar tank development. We don't really have tanks. We mainly just have guns and planes. So we're probably still going to be making tons of guns and planes. Research slot available. Let's get, I don't know, get air-related stuff. Get Naval Bomber 2. Get that done. Some ships were sunk. Okay. Oh, well. Can we deploy any more infantry divisions? That would be ideal. Let's add them to the 2nd Army. Not the 2nd Army, but get them to the 11th Army and send them to England, where their goal is just to defend the area just in case there's any kind of naval invasions. How are we doing in Colombia now? We're holding out, I believe. We are pushing. We're trying to defeat these divisions here, where we can't really do anything about them. Take that port, and we maybe could destroy them. And some enemy divisions were encircled, it looks like. Take care of them. Those enemy Canadian tanks, like a Canadian motorized brigade. Second experimental motorized brigade. Brigade, brigade whatever. We got landing transport landing craft, I think. I think we got that done, and let's select a national focus. I didn't do that in part 16, I guess. Let's go for construction. Actually, no, let's do army training just to get our divisions to be recruited as fast as possible. Yeah, that would be good. Research slot available. Let's do basic cruiser armor scheme, free military factories, make more guns, and support equipment, really. We need more support equipment, tons of that. So get tons of that done. Tons of that in the queue, as well as artillery we use for support, battalion support companies anyway. More planes are available in the reserve. Let me go to the reserve. We'll go to an air base in Europe and just send them out somewhere. Take the planes we have in Switzerland, use them in northern France, or try to anyway. And just back up our troops there, hopefully. And let's deploy some close air support in this base in Lure. I think it's called that. We gotta get some close air support here. We have a bunch of close air support we got from the countries we defeated, and we gotta spread them out somewhat. Close air support here. Just get single units. That will work. Just, yeah, just get rid of all this stuff we just have in the reserve that belong to France, with the Commune of France, and the Union of Britain, I suppose. Do close air support missions now, and just focus on northern France. How are we doing in, doing in Sweden? I think we're holding out for now, I think. Yeah, there's tons of Reichspact troops up here, though, which is a little bit of a problem, but what can you do? And it looks like Italy, the Italian Federation, who is leading, I think, the the Mediterranean axis, isn't faring too well. They're holding out in Sicily, as well as parts of, well, Naples as well, but they're going to lose Rome. We just captured that. They're really spread out. They're fighting against Austria, as well as us. There's more divisions for our garrison troops. An ace pilot has been promoted. All right. And can we just surround these enemy divisions here that are not destroyed yet? I guess just attack them, I don't know. And have we taken that port yet? Not yet, no. Just take this port, though, for the Sultanate of Mankind. Advance here, take this port from the... We surrounded, like, two Canadian divisions in South America at this point. There's more garrison divisions ready for us to send out to the 4th Army. How are we faring in Argentina? They're doing okay. They're not doing terrible, but they could be doing better. More... What, more factories already? We have core states and everything in the world, so obviously we just capture factories immediately when we when we acquire new states and secure different areas. More ships, I guess, will produce. We got some. We now can we can now build floating harbors. We got a lot of dockyards, I think, from someone. I'm not entirely sure who we got these from, but let's use them. 
and that's done. Unread naval convoy battle results. We're losing a few of our convoys, but our naval bombers are sinking the, well, many convoys of different countries. And there's a naval battle there between our convoys and some Russian submarines. It's not going so well for us, but it's fine. We can just build more convoys. We have plenty of manpower and resources at this point in time. We have surrounded Paris, and let's try to destroy these divisions stuck in Paris. And speaking of Paris, they are, they, it belongs to the German puppet known as the French Kingdom at this time, but not for long. There is some more military factories, an ace pilot has been promoted, okay. Make more guns, just make more firearms for us to provide equipment for our troops. And it looks like the, oh good, they actually could lose their port now. That would be nice for us. The Colombians did advance out of their little area they were stuck in, in Carib, Carib, whatever, just that area. And if we can hopefully take that port they're in, that would be a huge blow for them because they have no more supplies if that's done. Let's take the remaining parts of, oh no, that's not going to work actually. Take this area here, go into, what am I doing? No, that doesn't work. Go here and just push, take this province, or no, never mind. Okay, yeah, actually, never mind. Move this unit here, take these islands, go for the port of Spain eventually. Did we lose the port of Spain? Did we control that? I'm not sure. Maybe we did. And there's some more garrison divisions. Send them off somewhere. And we probably should spread out how many places they're protecting at this point. Just garrison these areas here. There's just so many places we have to send garrison divisions to. They basically just guard. They protect naval bases and victory points, so cities, essentially. They protect a lot of cities we capture from places we have invaded. And just do that. Take these ports for us. Defend all these victory points. And we gotta have a lot of garrison troops made in the near future, because we're conquering the whole world. That's gonna need a lot of garrison divisions. There we go. Garrison Paris and Normandy. That's done. Unassigned divisions. More infantry. Send them to the 11th Army. And let's actually have Army 11 start being more aggressive now. We're going to send them into maybe South America, get a new commander. Actually, no, let's send them up to... No, I don't know what to do with them. I have to think of something for them, though. And we just have some units holding out in, like, Norway, in Narvik. And let's send these troops here to Argentina with the 11th Army. Send them down here to Uruguay and Paraguay. Just push there. And their goal, once they arrive, is to just advance and hopefully take a few provinces and try to back up the army we already have down there. That's their objective for now, as some freed up divisions we have something. We have something to do for them. Get some more guns manufactured, more support equipment. Our divisions need those constantly for our, for our support companies. We, we use engineer companies. We don't have anything else in our template for now, I believe. Let's surround these enemy divisions, take this place in Portuguese Guinea for the Solnit of Mankind, get that done. And Tibet has capitulated, they lost the war. And what is this army doing here? They're going some place, oh they went down south. That is the 5th army. Let's have them focus more on Libya instead and just push here. All those divisions are going there. They'll go into North Africa more. Well. Eastern North Africa, try to take that territory away from the Ottoman Empire in Egypt. So we're going to try and capture the rest of Libya. And our our offensive is going pretty well thus far. We're probably going to take out the French Kingdom pretty soon once they lose their last few cities. Take Calais here, and then move into Flanders Wallonia, who was our trading partner for a long time. Yet a French Kingdom capitulated. They have no more. They have no more. Well, yeah, they're gone. And more divisions are available. Those are garrison troops. Send them off to the 4th Army. And keep advancing here in North Africa and West Africa. How are we doing here? There's just a couple, well, one Ottoman cavalry division in, say, Serenaka, essentially. And there's some unassigned divisions. Give these to the, I don't know who, give them to some troops. Maybe the three divisions will go to the 2nd Army. I think that's the 2nd Army. Yeah, let's send them there. They'll have something to do now. Let's get more units over to the, who is this, the, who is this down here, the 14th Army, they'll go to the 14th Army, we'll have them do that, just to give us more power, more forces, more troops in the southern part of South America. How is Venice, Colombia still alive? I don't know. We did cut them off from a port, though, oh no, they have another port, never mind. They control so many ports, it's very annoying. 
and just take the rest of this place. And the Canadians that were trying to siege down while trying to advance into our parts of Venezuela, we controlled, were driven off. Just advance here, maybe. Okay, this may not work. Might not be the best call to send all these divisions forward. At least take these couple of areas here. The Italian Federation claims something. How dare they? It's not going to matter because the Italian Federation soon will not soon exist because they're being attacked so hard by us. And I think they kicked the Austrians with a Sarajevo Accords. Sarajevo Accord to kick them out of southern Italy. So now we're going to be focusing on taking southern Italy for ourselves. It seems to be the situation there, though. And we are making our way toward Illyria. We're already in Illyria. We're pushing into Illyria. Toward, well, we're going toward Vienna, making our way toward Berlin. It's not too far off. We might get there by part 18. And we're also now going to soon enter into Belgium. All of southern Germany is basically under our control at this point in time. I'm going to end part 17 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough and Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out the mod Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there.